Hey game devs, this is Dan with You Contribute Games, and in today's video, we are going to talk about locking down your character's health and ensuring you don't go above or below your minimum and maximum health values with a little function I like to call lock min max health. The lock min max health function is going to check your player's current health and ensure it's within the minimum and maximum range available to the character it's on, whether that's your player, your enemy, your NPC, whoever. So you're sitting here thinking, why is that useful? I mean, you know, but I, I, I check the player health value when I heal the character and, and every time somebody fires the magic missile at them and, and that just works. You're right, it probably does. However, by having a centralized check, it's going to be easier to control all instances that could push you out of that minimum or maximum health range, right? And this is your safety net. It's just an added precaution. For example, your player casts a regenerate spell or uses a stem cell boost, which should heal your player over time. Well, what's going to happen if your player heals to their maximum health? Does that spell stop? If it doesn't, is it going to increase them above their maximum health? And if so, does that give them a cushion above their maximum health they shouldn't have? Is, does that, is that going to cause lots of problems if your game's multiplayer and now your characters can go above their maximum health? Well, you don't have to worry because the lock min max health function is going to solve that problem. Every time our health managers update function calls. It's going to call the lock min max health function, which is going to perform two if statements. The first one is going to check to see if the current health is less than the minimum health. And if it is, it updates the current health to the minimum health. Next, it's going to check and see if the current health is greater than the maximum health. And if it is, it's going to update the current health to the maximum health. And that's it. Every iteration we perform this check, it keeps us in, one, in our limits. And we're still going to check all of those other instances where if we're going to heal above the, the maximum health, if so, let's go ahead and just heal up to the maximum, things like that. We're going to perform those for GP, just for general purpose. But this is our safety net, guys. All right, so uh, that's it for the lock min max health function. I'm going to go ahead and blow this up real big on the screen for you, as always, so that you guys who are following along can see this. Type it up into your own health manager. And if you want to get the asset pack that has the full health manager script, all the art assets, the entire scene from our health manager demo, go ahead and click the link right here. Click down in the description. That's going to take you over to our site where you can see how you can get that. And we'll see you in the next video where we are going to be talking about taking damage and healing our characters. Now it's time to say goodbye to everyone but YCG. All right, guys, you've made it to the end of this video. Uh, we're going to continue this lesson in the next video where we'll talk about taking damage and healing our characters. Go ahead, click subscribe. You know you want to. Go over to youcontributegames.com. Check out the awesome site. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Hit us up. Send us an email at ycg at you contribute games. We want to hear from you. Comment down below. All right. See you next time, guys.